so they'll be calling you a radical. So, look this crunch. What a sound. So, dead cat bounce going on Bitcoin, no doubt. People biting their fingernails, hoping the next exchange doesn't fucking get exposed. There's so much fraud out there, unexposed. Now, let me tell you what's going to happen. And I've been at this my whole life. And uh, what's going to happen? I'll tell you what's going to happen. We got a new Congress coming in. J1, 2023. Look, I've been around finance. I taught finance in number one school business. I graduated in number one school business. I worked on Wall Street. I've been heavily involved. I mean, play back the tape. 2011, I had you buying that piece of shit, Elon Musk. IPO, Apple, and I got cancer. But anyway, long story short, which a lot of aggressive traders die young. So, I mean, living in the fast lane. So let me explain. Every time there's a financial crisis in this country, that's how we ended up with 401ks, this, that, the other thing. We have this reactionary society. We wait till it's too late. Now, the feds cannot regulate their own Ponzi scheme. QE123, they're not going to regulate their own Ponzi scheme now, are they? Fuck no. Which... Biggest Ponzi scheme in world history is what's gone on in the last 20 years. God. It's a, it's, it's a balmy 13 degrees right now. So, they can't regulate their own Ponzi scheme. They can't. So, what are they going to do? They're going to regulate Bitcoin. Look, the money supply, M12345, they lost control of it. Bitcoin, cryptocurrency is inflation. In symphony with the PP loans that they fucking just dump. Now remember, do not forget this sliding with Biden. Fucking the Biden bill, seven or eight thousand IRS agents. Remember that we're gonna put a czar. I love the United States using that fucking term, the old monarchy. Czar. So is it a dead cat? Yeah, fuck yes. Look, everybody's biting their finger and all these fuckers saying I'm buying it back. Fuck, this fuckers came down off 64000 to 17000 Fuck, get a little bit. Everybody's fucking hammer back in, biting their fingernails, hoping the next shoe won't drop. Well, the next shoe's going to fucking drop. The United States stock market, they're not going to regulate that fucking Ponzi scheme. QE1, 2, 3, 4. They're not going to do anything about that piece of shit. I mean, you think about it. By definition, the Fed going in and buying their own fucking treasury bills and their own stock. It's like the interest rate. Every time the interest rate goes up a little bit, they're paying more on this incredible psychotic fucking debt. It's a catch-22. Yeah, we love it. We have municipalities because property taxes have gone psycho and they're loving it. Fuck, why we're all paying the price. Fuck. Cryptocurrency, the PP loans, is hyperinflation. Inflation's been going on since 2000. They just tricked you. They took a bag of fucking potato chips and just fucking went, cut the ingredients inside the bag in half. Take your bag of potato chips and fold it, fold it down. You got about that much in there. They just changed the packaging to half and then says, oh no, fuck, please. Were we really that fucking stupid? Apparently it worked. So, is it a dead cat bounce? Fuck yes, it's a dead cat bounce. Hello, hello, they're gonna regulate it. Look, Bitcoin cryptocurrency became the biggest exchange in the world to fucking hide fucking taxation, to fucking avoid taxation. Became the greatest tax shelters in history. They're gonna slam that fucking fucking door closed. First thing they'll do. And, oh, they ain't got enough. Republican votes and the oh yes they do. Fuck too many people got burned. And that's the way this works. Here's Shaquille on now comes up. Oh, I just paid spokesman. Did he own any of it? Did he own any of it? Yep. How about how about did fucking Stephon Curry own it? Now you think about this. Shaquille O'Neal's little sister died of ML with Kenya. 
recently. Kevin Blatch's cause? Fighting the people that give us cancer? <laughs> fuck him, but they're gonna fucking go in on this. Tom fucking Brady, fucking moron. His psycho fucking wife, Kelly Slater, the ocean hater. Fucking won't you please, please? Semi am, semi am, the crypto fucking green eggs and fucking fried green eggs and fucking ham from Japan. Scam is the tip of the fucking iceberg. Look how he was living, look what he's doing. I mean, it's unbelievable. It's the tip of the fucking iceberg. You know, the whole fucking Obama era and the Trumpism is just like, we can do whatever we want. And they got away with it. So, of course, it empowered people. You got fucking these inherited wealth, Elizabeth Holmes, Pompous, fucking Stanford. Elizabeth Holmes, fucking dad is Christian Holmes the fourth. Second in line. And why wasn't he ever tried? This is what happens when you fucking use inherited wealth, imperialism. You empower these fuckers to think that it's okay. Everybody thinks they got away with it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. They're going to regulate it. Regulate the fuck out of it because too many big fat cats got burned. You know, they don't care if the small-time retail investor gets fucked. They could give a fuck. And, oh, do I know. But when you take down big fish, the big fish, especially celebrityism <laughs> in imperialism America. Oh, it's fucking cold. So we're going to get crypto winter? Oh, yeah. I already started. Hello. Yeah, you're a motherfucker. What happened? So you didn't get it. No.